Tilo, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are. We are live. By the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we do got merch. We also got the Patreon where we post five days a week, uh, Monday through Friday. And we post the stuff that we watch on Twitch when... Because, you know, we watch Twitch exclusives, but we also put it on put it on Patreon so it can stay longer. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, um, this is a video by Steps to Adventure. It dropped four hours ago. I don't know why I clicked this. Could have been the thumbnail. Salute. You know what I'm saying? Uh, van tour after one year full-time van life. Now, I don't know if y'all notice about me. If y'all watched my previous streams, y'all know, like, this is something I wanted to do at one point. And I would still do it when my daughter gets a little older. I would I would rock out like this. I promise you. But it had to be elite level. Elite level stealth van. You know what I'm saying? This the type, like, before I was doing YouTube, I was watching, like, weird stuff like this. Not weird, but, like, this is the type of stuff I be finding interesting. You know what I'm saying? Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. And if y'all happen to watch this video, respective owners, if y'all want me to take it down, just hit me up. I'll take it down. We don't have to do any of the extra stuff or any anim animosity. Just hit me up. It's all love at the end of the day. I salute y'all and I just want to, you know, get an idea of what I got going on with myself if I ever to do this. This is the video you've all been waiting for. We've been living in our 2007 Mercedes Sprinter for the past year and a half, traveling to some amazing locations in Europe. If you've been following along on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I think that's them all, then you'll know that we've been making some major upgrades to the van. So without further ado, let's get into the video. See, most people buy a Sprinter van and like make it like, you know, into a Sprinter, like a decked out nice sprinter for people to rent rappers blah 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 but they took it and made van life i can see it there this is a nice little intro what is, is this real this the see this is why i want to do this like look at this like I, I don't really like nature but this is like this is calm this is peaceful you know what i'm saying a little piece of water that i would never swim in you know what I'm saying? Backdrop some mountains with snowy peaks. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could do that. See, look, it's a whole crib in there. Welcome to our tiny home. You said van life is getting banned in the UK soon? That's a travesty. That's unfortunate. But the good thing about the van people, they will pick up and van up out of there and just get out of the UK. She is a long wheelbase, high roof, 2007 Sprinter van that we bought in 2019 and was converting for around about two years because we was working full-time jobs and didn't have enough time to jump into the van to just blast the build out. So if you're a long-time viewer of ours, you'll know that we've been making some upgrades to the van. So let's start from the front and work our way back. So this is one of the upgrades to the van. It's a lagoon style table leg, so you can move it around wherever you want. And it's perfect as a little office. To See, that's cool. Like I would have my like, I would definitely have my reaction set up right here. My reaction, like it's little enough. Like y'all think I got this huge setup. No, this is the, this is my portable setup. My big setup is still in a, uh, Chicago. Like I would have me a light right here, like, like a little light. Then my laptop, another computer. Okay, yeah, this is good. Work if Jordan's gaming and it also acts as a dog platform for Lily. So this isn't actually a Lagoon table leg. It's a remake on Amazon and it's about £100 cheaper. We will list all the links, discount codes and everything like that in the description below. The links are affiliate links, which means we get a little kickback, but not at your expense. 
It helped when you got a woman decorating because this wouldn't be the same if it was just a man. So the seat that I was sat on actually acts as a big storage unit. So you've got one half for shoes and one half for dirty laundry. Annalise has recently fitted this spice rack, but she puts like all her candles in and her smellies and stuff. Up top here, we have overhead storage for coats and jackets. Just because it gets too messy in the van if you're hanging your jackets up and stuff, we just stuff them in there, hide them away. But the big upgrade is inside here. That's a shower. And the major upgrade is inside the shower room. We've got a composting toilet instead of a chemical toilet, which means we can do our poos in the bag and then throw it out the window. No, I'm only joking. It is actually a massive upgrade for us because a chemical toilet in the UK are really hard to empty, whereas in the composting toilets, you pretty much empty them anywhere. This is the Chilena. Wait, what do you mean by that? Composting toilet. So what, what, what do you mean? Like, no origin L composting toilet and it only weighs 6.8 kilograms. Both containers hold up to 10 litres, so there's plenty of room for your number ones and twos. Let me talk to y'all for a second. You hear me? Hear me out real quick. So I'm, listen, I know, like, if I got a girl, I love you. I, you know what I'm saying? But I don't want to sit until 10 liters of boo-boo gets full. As soon as your boo-boo hit the, it hit the bottom of this bucket, take it out. Do something with it. Get it out of here. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to smell it because if it get full, like it's you, it's this thing definitely ain't keeping the smell in. You gotta open the top of this every time you boo boo. So I know some it's it's getting some seepage. It's tough. We love the look of this toilet and it actually matches our van interior. This is what's going to keep us off grid for longer periods of time. In the shower room, we've got. Click final flooring, which is fully sealed and waterproof. PVC shower panels, the nice. walls and this ceiling, nice and we have a mixer tap with a water saving trigger shower head. Inside this, and it's nice, and they got the filtered water too. Bench sheet is our diesel eater and our separate fuel tank. We didn't tap into the main fuel tank because we find that it's much easier to diagnose issues when your fuel tank's separate. Also acts as storage as well. And if you're wondering how much we paid for That's our smart. diesel eater. We actually only paid £87 and it's been in the van about a year and a half and it's never missed a beat. You eagle-eyed viewers would have noticed this little switch here. I didn't notice it. I'm not eagle-eyed, my fault. So it is actually a remote, wireless remote, and this turns our light on and off. Oh, okay. It also has 50%, so it drops it to 50% or back up to 100%. Or you can hold the minus and it'll dim the lights. Or you can hold the plus and it'll make the lights brighter. So we have That's the same as my ring light, look. On, I mean off, on. I almost went camouflage right there. You hold it down, it go dimmer, go lighter. Types. Y'all got, y'all, this is, look at this. The lights is built into the ceiling. We have one at the front of the van and we have one in bed in case we forgot to turn the lights off, we can just switch it while we're in bed. So moving further down the van, We've got this table. Now this is a collapsible table leg, so we can just take that out, remove it, and this turns into full on sofa mode. And this is another storage box, which I won't open because it's a bit messy. And this is where we house all Jordan's clothes. Kitchen is definitely the main feature of the van. It just looks- I'm not gonna lie, their like van is nice. This is nice. A little apartment. So we'll start at this end. We've got the black sink with the black tap. We've got the black kitchen roll holder, the Ikea spice racks with our little spice jars carbon monoxide alarm make sure you get one i don't see no pepper up there salt and pepper we've got these lights which are really handy if you don't want all the lights on we can turn them off and just have these on while we're cooking we've got a two burner hob which links to the camping gas 907 jordan is that right behind the camera <laughs> and then we've got our magnetic spice spice <laughs> and then we've got our magnetic knife rack the tiles on the back are tic tac tiles which are stick on and we've got a 240 volt plug socket we've got so much storage in this kitchen we've got the two overhead and everything's in storage boxes to keep it nice and neat we've got under sink storage a drawer here you know what's crazy like once van people are done living in vans like and they go back to a regular apartment like i wonder how that experience is like all this space that y'all got now, like like 
Like, how do y'all decorate a regular apartment now? Like, I wonder, like, if it's like something mentally happened. Like, what? Like, what? Where we keep all our cutlery. Another cupboard underneath here, which is all our plates and bits and bobs. And then we've got these are the new additions. So we've got another drawer here, which, as you can see, is just more stuff. And then the big one. This is like our pan cupboard and it is huge. It houses all our pots and pans, toaster, blender, milk softer, everything is in there. Milk who? All our pots and pans, toaster, blender, milk softer, everything. What is the milk soft? What is that? Then is in that drawer. And in the bottom drawer is where our gas bottle and water heater lies. So one thing I was doing when I was building this fan out, uh, redoing the kitchen, was making sure that this line on this matches this line here. Yeah, yeah, because that'll bother me too. If them lines don't line up together, like we gotta start it over, tear the whole kitchen out. And it really winds me up when I, for instance, I see a kitchen built and like you have these drawers like this and then you have a drawer here and the line lands like say there. Yeah, you're not alone, my boy. <laughs> oh. You're not alone. Pet hate. The one thing we absolutely love is our 12 volt fridge freezer. It's a 26 litre freezer and a 62 litre fridge and it's absolutely massive. Oh, and it even has a Coke dispenser. Check that out. <laughs> you just slot in there so you can have all your cans of Coke in there. It's perfect. The brand of this is Montpellier and if you do want something like this, head over to Jackson's Leisure and check it out on the website. So under the table, we do have a 240 volt plug socket. And above here, Annalise has recently just... What's the standard house volt voltage in the UK? Because they keep telling us it's 240. Like, I ain't never... In America, we don't even pay attention to that. Only carpenters know that type of information. Like, I could care less what voltage is what. Me, personally. She bought another mirror from Own Bargain. I think she just likes collecting mirrors. Um, and she's stained this with some 3M stain. So our walls and the ceiling are all cladded. The top's been stained with, I think it's 3M or it's like nice. 3V3, I can't remember, but we stained. It looked like 3V3, honestly. In the ceiling, all the worktops and um, this mirror, pretty much with the same stuff. And then the walls have all been painted white. We've added this rope trim for like aesthetics, but really it's not really aesthetics. It's just to hide our bad edges. This is all around the van. It's still a nice additive. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I wouldn't, have, did you think of that or did she think of that? Like, that's what I'm talking about, by having a woman around, like, oh, let's get a rope to hide the head. Like, I would have never, I would have been like, just leave it out, I don't care, we're good. And, and around the back edge as well. Just adds like a nice little touch. So let's talk roof fence, what have we got? So we've got a Fiamma 40 roof vent here, just a standard one that you just open up with a fly mesh above. And then we've got a Max Air fan just at the back above the bed. And the reason why we put it in above the bed is because... Obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah! Talk to us. Tell the truth. Don't lie. Because when we go abroad and it's really warm, we can turn that on, blows a nice cool air, stretch on top of the bed, and we can cool down while we're chilling out. Let's show you... Bro, come on now. Come on now. Okay, I'll take that answer. That's a logical answer as well, but... Respectfully, that ain't it. <laughs> My storage. So I've got the best deal. I've got the full wardrobe, which used to be Jordan's, but he very kindly donated it to me. And then I've got the two overhead storage just above the bed. Before we've done these little bits of renovations, the whole van was actually white, which was really nice. But for us, it just felt a little bit too clinical. So what we did was, if you've noticed, We've painted the whole bottom of the van grey, so all the cupboards on the bottom are grey. And then we didn't really know what to do with this, because obviously it's part of the bottom, but then it's part of the top. So we How big is this bed? Like, I don't feel like, like, how, because bro is pretty tall, like, or he's kind of, he's tall enough. Even she doesn't look like she can be in that bed. You gotta lay in there diagonally. Decided to go bold and paint it grey and we absolutely love it. It just feels more homely. So down here we've got a bit of a control panel. So we've got the Renergy battery monitor. So we can monitor what the batteries are doing, what they're charging at, what percentage they're on. And we also have the Renergy inverter switch. So we switch that on when we want to use the 240 volt plug sockets. 
um, we've got some USB and USB-C plugs here and a cigarette port. This is just the Bluetooth connector so we can connect to the Renergy app and see what Somebody smokes in here. What's really going on with the batteries. Let's get to the bed where all the juicy stuff happens. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> so everybody always asks what size our bed is. Because yeah. obviously the Mercedes Sprinters, you can't fit widthways in them without the side pods. So we've got something called the Euro pods on our van. Now, everybody always thinks I'm lying when I say the size of the van, but let me show you. It is exactly... Where are we? Six foot four, exactly. So it was 76 and a half inches at the... See, I'm too tall for that. I'm too tall for that. That's not enough space. Like if I have a bad dream and wake up quick, my head is gonna smack this piece right here. And I gotta back side of the pod at the back side of the pod. So that's six foot four. I'm six foot two, so I stay at this side. And then the front side of the pod. Oh, okay, okay, we're the same height. There is six foot two because the pods taper in slightly. Now these are with insulation and carpet on, so they are actually wider than six foot four. I think they're about six foot six ish. Um, when they're fitted with no insulation or carpet on. So having the side pods has been an absolute game changer, especially for me, because I'm lanky. Um, I can actually fit in here with ways. Because the bed is actually bigger than a standard size double bed, we do actually have a gap down here. Um, and I just think it helps with airflow, but now and again, it winds you up when your pillows drop down. So sometimes you put these little pink pillows down first and then we pop our big soft double pillow and it gives you extra space for your head so as Annalise mentioned before she does have the overhead storage which is great and we have these little lights inside i just want to show you them the clicker lights so these are these little lights they're on a magnet at the back and you can plug them into a usb charger oh. and charge them up and the motion detect so as soon as you open that you can see what's inside the cupboard they're brilliant they are from amazon so the links will be in the description below but moving on over here, that's pretty cool. We've got a double USB socket here, which is a. I'm not gonna lie. I, like, what what did the bro do before this, and what did she like? What were their real their regular jobs? This is innovative. They built this whole thing out by themselves. That's tough. Standard USB and USB C, and then the, all this carpet that we've got on. Behind this carpet is dodo mat insulation, so everything is soft. It's not going to the burr metal, so it goes to the the uh, insulation first and then the carpet over the top of the insulation. So we've used another one of these IKEA spice racks as a brew holder for when we're in bed. We've painted this one grey and then we've added the tablet holder. So this- A brew holder, I a, a drink holder? Is that what that is? This is actually really, really good. It's really stiff so you can pull it, move it where you want and it doesn't like bounce around or anything. And I think that's everything for the inside. Oh wait, the window. So this is the ice cream hatch. <laughs> Can I have an ice cream, please? <laughs> so then, let's talk electrics. So we've changed a couple of things in the van. Where is this in the van? Like, there's still this much? This gotta be in the back underneath the bed. So I'm gonna show you what I've changed. Let's start at this end and work our way back. So we've got a mains charger, which is a Victron mains charger, and that is a 30 amp. So we have two solar panels on the roof, which are two Renogy 200 watt solar panels. So we've got 400 watt. This is a lot of, you don't even think you gotta do all this. They got amplifiers, they got relays. I'm just guessing. It's all together. That then comes down into this breaker Capacitors, so that we can breakers. isolate the panels whenever we need be. Then this comes into the Renogy Rover 40 amp MPPT charge controller. This charge controller is actually a lithium one as well. Then we come over to our two plug sockets here. That is run off mains. So when we plug in. Yeah, I've watched a lot of these van life videos and this is very informal. Like I, I would have never even knew that this stuff was going on. Obviously, like it has to be because for obvious reasons, but um, I've never seen it. inverter plugged into one. 
and we have our mains charger uh, for the batteries plugged into the other. Then over here we've got our 12 volt fuse board. We've got two positive and negative buzz bars, uh, quite big, these are 500 mm -hmm. amp ones. We've got a 2000 watt Renergy inverter, but the big thing what we've changed recently is definitely our bi-directional B2B charger. Now, if you don't know what a bi-directional B2B charger is... I absolutely do not, so... It takes power from your alternator and fires it into your leisure batteries. However, if your van battery decides to die, because this is bi-directional, it can throw power back to your van battery, which means that we'll never need to jumpstart the van. And we've tested... So it's kind of like a capacitor, but it's bi-directional and it can throw power back it quite a few times now where we've left the van for like weeks on end and you'd think when you come to turn it over it, it wouldn't work but turn it over starts up first time every time it's amazing we do have discount codes for a lot of this stuff so if you are looking to get this type of stuff Check out our discount code below because you do want to save you. And I was muted. Great. I said, did I say, did I say informal? I meant informative. That's what I meant to say. Tell some money um, and every penny helps when you're building out a van. And another thing that we did change, we did have AGM batteries. Now, we didn't have any problems with the AGM batteries. They were perfectly fine. However, we had 300 amps, but you can only use 50% of the capacity of an AGM battery, otherwise you start to damage it. Right. So really we only actually had 150 amp right. usable. Right. And they were bloody heavy. Now we've got three 100 amp hour lifetime lithium batteries in this. Now they're a budget lithium battery. <laughs> like what? <laughs> 100 amp hour. This had to be a strategic insert. He was like, babe, just stand by the batteries to make it look more lifetime lithium lead. batteries in this now the, are huge. they're a budget lithium battery but they are bloody good i can tell you that now we've drained them right down we've charged them right up we threw all sorts of stuff for them and they've not failed so far they've been brilliant but yeah it, it's been absolutely brilliant this system's been faultless it's been in the van for quite some time now we've only made two major upgrades which is the sterling power b2b if i had a new about the sterling power b2b i would never have bought the renergy one because the Renergy one failed on us like constantly. It was so annoying, like really annoying. And the same with the batteries, they've been absolutely brilliant. But apart from that, we've not changed anything on our electrical system, literally just the batteries and the B2B. A lot of people asking. That's good, man, because like, I'm one of those people like, let's do it right the first time so we don't have to revisit this occasion, you feel me? Like, I don't want to, you know. Do we have Wi-Fi in the van? And the answer is yes. We've got a MaxView Wi-Fi and it just takes a SIM card. We've got our SIM card with EE. So our internet is just here above the bed and it's a MaxView Romex. And then on the actual roof itself, you'll be able to see that this is the little puck antenna. Um, and it's just, it's super simple. We have it turned on permanently all the time. We don't, um, we actually don't take it off. Makes sense. We don't take it off whatsoever. Um, or we don't turn it off whatsoever and it's been brilliant it uses next to no power and we get full signal also if you're looking at building out a van the best thing you can do is add a massive garage space because you can put tools in there you put e-bikes paddle boards and then we have our skis on the but door don't you have you also have like a okay i guess your roof is being utilized okay doors either side and they've been done with like velcro we got like little velcro mounts that we made and then you can just pop your skis on there. And this is where we fill up our water. It's got a little key slot. Just open that up and we can fill our water up. We have actually got a 30 PSI pump um, that I think is seven liters a minute and it's a shore flow pump. And if you're looking for side pods like these, this is what they actually look like from the outside. So they oh, just stick cool. out the van ever so slightly. Um, they're wider on the driver's side than they are on the passenger side because you have your slide door on your passenger side so that when the door opens, the, um, the, the door doesn't smack into the okay. side pod. So that's Clearance. why the side pod is slightly narrower right. on one side than compared to the other. The electric hookup is on the outside here. Just pop this up, plug your electric hookup in. We never really use it to be fair. We've not really used it that much because 
the van's like pretty much generating power all the time the only time we really ever use it is if this is salutable i'm not even gonna lie like i didn't think this was gonna be this uh informative um but i'm glad it is man because at the end of the day there's enough jokey joke in here and little other little things that are going on to make it an interesting video and like this is the type of stuff that I'll be looking at when I'll be looking at channels I'll be like oh yeah they're definitely gonna be busting very soon like maybe in a year or two a YouTube channel gonna be like tough maybe less than that if we go on a campsite we'll plug in and then charge up our power banks as well while we're there this is the front of our van and you'll probably notice that we got a massive light bar up top and some as you should you in nature all day if i want to see what's going on in front of me i'm gonna light it up you know what i'm saying little uh, um ditch lights on the bottom on our bull bar you can have them flashing white you can have them flashing amber you can have them on amber and white what about security since your van life can you like get a gun you can just do all sorts with the the little control panel which is quite cool um and the light bar is ridiculously light like um i definitely will not be turning that on whilst yes, driving right. i can tell you that now but that's it from the van tour guys if you can think of anything that we've missed off please drop it in the nah, comments buddy y'all done told us everything i like it man tlo leave a like comment subscribe turn on your post man let me know if you think you can survive van life i definitely could 100 percent